Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, I'm here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and I came to a Starbucks for we're at a break at a conference, and I just met Daniel, who's a, a student pastor in Charlotte, North Carolina, at a Southern Baptist church, and I realized something very unique about Daniel. Uh, Daniel doesn't have any arms, and he was over here operating his laptop with his feet, and when I think about you know some of the ad adversity that you know that we go through and that we uh, make excuses for really in our lives why we don't get things done here's a guy over here that came to a conference drove himself here from charlotte and uh is, is a full student pastor uh, wife kids having an awesome life and i just asked daniel if he would we just met just to share with us you know how the lord has uh worked through him in his life um in his ministry and and how he deals with you know obviously uh, you know, which most of us would consider it adversity, but yet he, God is using him big. So, Daniel, talk to us and tell us, you know, where you're from Charlotte yeah. and uh, ministry there and kind of what's going on with students and how you use, you know, uh, what's going on in your life to, to uh, minister to others. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I get to, as a job, to, to hang out with middle and high school students and tell them about Jesus and, and uh, you know, help, help see them uh, become disciples. It's probably the greatest job in the world, for sure. Um, and, uh, you know, I think in using my difference, it, it definitely, it opens doors, you know, I, I got a conversation with you right now. Yeah, for sure, yeah, because I, I was sitting at the table drinking my coffee watching, and I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta go meet this guy, this is amazing. Yeah, so instant conversation starters, for sure, and especially with students who've never met me, they're like, oh, what's your story? And, uh, definitely, it, it's a great opportunity for me to just share the gospel, as people ask you to hope in me, and, and I don't have to go, uh, lobbing it at them, so it's like, it's like excuse proof evangelism. Uh, yeah, that's great. Excuse proof evangelism. He drove himself here. He does everything. Functions completely. Um, and you know, was even uh, you know un unwrapping a package for his, his uh, headphones and uh, working off of his computer. And so, man, I just love the way that uh, great attitude. And I, I just appreciate the, the the way that God is using Daniel, um, just even to speak to me this afternoon. And I'm thinking. Dude, the next time somebody catches me making an excuse, would you just uh, slap me upside the head? Because none of us have an excuse for, you know, what God's called us to do. I'm very inspired by my brother here. Would you just share with us, you know, maybe a word of encouragement uh, if we're struggling with, you know, things God's called us to do and maybe with things that are holding us back, etc. Yeah, I think, I think the, the, biggest, the biggest lesson God has ever taught me in my life is you're not defined by your circumstances, you're simply defined by Christ. Because for so long, good. Um, I lived as just like an armless guy, and it was like the thing that haunted me the most, and it was the thing that's like mo most prevalent for me, because it's like, I can't, I can't go down uh, the sidewalk and people not be like, oh my gosh, that guy doesn't have arms. And, uh, and for, for me to know and understand I'm spiritually and wonderfully made, redeemed by Christ, called by Him, gifted by Him, and that my hope, my strength, my security, my, my everything is rooted in that, not what people say or not, not how people see me, uh, it changed my life. And so regardless of what's going on in your life, you can... And you can pursue Christ, and you can be confident in Christ, and not necessarily have to have like you know, the best job and the best talents, and you know the, the, the best set of circumstances, because Christ can be you regardless. And so, man, be, be defined by that, not, not be defined by whatever hardship you're going through or anything like that. And that, that is that is such good words of wisdom. And so, Daniel, thank you so much, man. Appreciate uh, just a, a brother that's making it happen. And, and his point is right, which is um, wherever we're at, whatever's happened in our past, whatever we do or don't think we have, God can take us just the way we are and do something special in our lives, minister to others, make our life uh, awesome for Him. Um, and He takes all the what we believe are shortcomings for His good and His glory. And Daniel's a perfect example of God.